What's going on, everyone? Don Saladino here with Ali and Andrew to take you through a body weight level one day one. The great thing about this program, we're going to need absolutely no equipment. This is going to help get our golf muscles loose, but also get them firing stronger. You're going to feel better as well. So guys, I'm going to do a quick little demonstration. And we're going to do two different variations of these exercises, OK? Those of you who need to take a step back and just, I like to say, marinate into the movement a little bit. and then. We're going to attack it with something a little bit more advanced with Ali. So our bridge is going to be in here, raising and lowering. OK, so Andrew, we're going to take a, a bilateral glute bridge. And then, Ali, we're going to take the unilateral glute bridge, but we're going to do it elevated. So that's going to be a little bit more advanced. So if you don't mind, grab that med ball right there. Now, for those of you, you do not need a med ball. You can just use a chair, some type of an elevation. And I want to explain to you right now what golf muscles this is going to be working on. So Allie's doing an incredible job with core stability. Perfect. She's getting her glute to fire. Andrew's doing the exact same thing. So these are two amazing variations. Now, the hips and the glutes need to be active in the golf swing. All right, that is how we're going to initiate the downswing. That's how we're going to be able to create speed. That's how we're going to be able to create better sequencing. This is how we're going to be able to protect our back, our knees. Um, it's heavily involved in the golf swing. And if it's working better, we're going to have a more efficient golf swing and more efficient golf muscles. So Ali's doing a great job. This is highly advanced with the med ball. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend everyone to attempt this. But at the very least, grab some sort of an elevation. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah? And really, Andrew's like on his 100th rep right now. But doing a fantastic job in this. Again, if we get those glutes and those hips to fire more actively, not only is our golf swing going to love us more, but our bodies are just going to function a lot better. Guys, done there. So we're going to go for about three sets of 10 reps. So Andrew would do three sets of 10 reps total, and Allie would do three sets of 10 reps both sides. We can discontinue that. You guys have done like 100 reps already. That's fantastic, and you're going to feel a lot looser. So the next movement we're going to go into right now is called a half kneeling reach. So. I'm just going to go into a half kneeling position. Make sure you use a pillow, a foam pad, whatever it might be. And we're going to reach down to the ground. And notice how I'm taking my outside arm and bringing it through my legs, kind of doing a little bit of a counter. And then I'm going to reach to the sky or ceiling. So what I'm doing right now is I'm stabilizing my hips. I'm prying my hips open. But I'm also working on that thoracic turn, which is so important in the golf swing. We have to have mobility and separation in the upper body. So very simply, we're going to go for about 10 reps where we raise and lower, raise and lower. On top of it, chest flexibility, shoulder mobility, reaching down and raising up. Guys, give me a demonstration on this, and I'm going to point out what's going on. Absolutely perfect. So we're all built differently. Andrew and I, a little bit bigger with the upper body. Allie's having a really easy time kind of getting into position, but she's probably feeling a little bit of a stretch in that right hip. Squeezing those glutes, stabilizing those glutes a bit, very important. That's going to protect the lower back. And right now, working on all those muscles, which are going to be, it's going to be enabling us to be successful in the golf swing. We're going to go about 10 each side. And rest. Let's switch sides. So I always like to say there's a difference between flexibility and mobility. OK, flexibility is the ability to be able to get into position and hold that position, which is good and it's important. But true mobility is combining flexibility and stability. So it's combining flexibility and strength. And we need that. And as a player, you're noticing on tour right now, these players are getting stronger. They're hitting the ball a lot further, all right, both on the LPGA Tour and the PGA Tour. So incredibly important. We are working on mobility right now. Guys, great job. Rest. Perfect. Let's take a second. Shake it out a little bit. Remember, I, I like to tell people this is never like a race, right? We just want to go in there. We want to breathe. We want to relax into the stretch. I love this drill now. It's called a child's pose. So we're going to get down. For those of you people out there who have done yoga, you will recognize it. But this is a great way to be able to incorporate a lot of our breath work in. So I'm going to reach my hands and try and sit onto my heels. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform some expansive breathing. 
and I'm really going to try and do a deep inhalation into my ribs and into my back and a very long exhale. So it's going to sound a little deliberate like this. Notice when I'm exhaling and reaching, I'm almost trying to push my back down to the ground. Show me a demonstration. We'll point this out. Why is this so important? First off, we're getting our nervous system to calm down. So in the golf swing, it's like this relaxed aggression is what I like to call it. Perfect. So she's doing a phenomenal job in really trying to open up that mid-thoracic. Andrew, terrific. That's, that's perfect. Notice how Andrew's keeping his elbows locked out. He's really getting a good stretch in the lats. And that mid-thoracic, he's focusing on getting extension out of that. Keep breathing, guys. You should enjoy it down there right now. This should be something where you're almost relaxing and falling asleep. But getting that breath and getting us out of that posture. So a lot of you out there who might be fighting that C posture, or you might be sitting at a desk or on your phone or in the, on, you know, in the car all day, a movement like this is gonna help get us a little bit more extended, it's gonna help get us a little bit more open, and the breath work is going to get us relaxed <sighs> to be on the course, to be able to approach your shots with some intention. Guys, rest, let's hop up out of that. How's that feeling? It's like a nice little warm-up in a way, right? But you can see as we start moving around a little bit, the body temperature is going to elevate a little. Um, for those of you going to the tee box and you're kind of rushing to hit balls, even taking one round of this is going to be magic because you're just going to feel like you get into better positions with your golf swing. Um, the last drill we're going to show right now is called the bear crawl. This is a locomotion pattern. Um, it can get a little complex, but I want everyone to just take baby steps, Slow and steady wins the race with this one. So notice how my, my knee and my elbow are starting pretty close together. And then I'm going to just take a nice little crawl and envision I'm, I'm trying to balance like my phone or a glass of water on my back. I don't want all of this hip motion. So it's literally here, here, nice and slow. Each step counts as a rep, and we're going to go for about... 10 reps, so we're gonna need some space, but notice I couldn't perform 10 reps in this space. So I'm gonna turn around. Allie's gonna take me through the next set right, right now. We're gonna see how this looks. Perfect. Awesome. She's keeping her back very stable. Outstanding. And rest right there, that's awesome. Andrew, take me through a set. So right now, core, shoulders, hips, these are all the things outstanding. These are all the things we need to have an efficient movement quality, right? But by having efficient movement quality rest, we're going to become a better athlete to be able to get into positions that we need to be in in our golf swing. And when we talk about kinematic sequencing, we talk about the order that the pelvis, the torso, the arms, the club head, that's one thing that all the best tour players on tour have in common. Okay, their sequencing is almost identical, and that's because of, obviously, skill, but also their bodies are moving efficiently. So that was one round of everything. Do you guys feel good? Yeah. Okay, you pretty, pretty much understand what's all, all, all the movements. Perfect. Guys, I want you to perform three rounds of all of that. This should take you a, a minimal amount of time, but it's going to feel effective. Your body's going to feel fantastic. Good luck with that one. Thanks.